Hello, my name is Deborah Boyd and I'm a supervisor for Family Support Services with Mi'kmaq Family and Children's Services of Nova Scotia. Under the umbrella of Family Support Services within our agency, the Case Aid Program is responsible for filling requests for transportation, family access and youth support or mentoring. Everyone needs to have accurate and up-to-date information about safely transporting children. Did you know that the leading cause of injury related to death for children in Canada is due to injuries involving motor vehicle collisions? Motor vehicle accidents can cause serious injuries to a child's head, neck, spine and internal organs. The purpose of this video is to provide you with information, guidance and demonstration about choosing the proper car seat or booster seat, making sure that it's properly installed in your vehicle and that a child is safely buckled in. It is the law in Nova Scotia that children traveling in vehicles are safely secured in a car seat or booster seat that is appropriate for their age, weight, height and that it's used according to the manufacturer's instructions. Hello, I'm Erin Isidore. And I'm Justin Stevens. We are case aides with Mi'kmaq Family and Children's Services of Nova Scotia. There are so many options of car seats on the market today. We get a lot of questions about choosing the proper car seat and how to safely install them in a vehicle. There are many styles and options on the market today, but they all can be divided according to the child's age, height, and weight. This will determine which car seat will be best meet your child's safety needs. Remember to always install your car seat in the rear seat of your vehicle. Do not use the car seat if it has been involved in a motor vehicle accident. Look for the Canada safety mark on your car seat. Check the manufacturing or expiry date on your car seat. Make sure you read the instruction manual for the seat and your vehicle manual. You can contact the manufacturer if you are unsure. There are a variety of car seat websites that will also provide helpful information. Car seats have size limits. Read the labels and instructions on the seat and in the manual to make sure the child is within the height, weight, and age limit for the seat. For infants, a rear-facing seat gives you the best protection for your baby's head, neck, and spine if there is a sudden stop or crash. You can use either a rear facing only seat or a larger rear facing convertible seat as long as your baby fits it correctly. Place the handle where the instruction tells you. All seats are different. Place the chest clip at your baby's armpit level. The harness should be flat with no twist. Tighten the harness straps. You should not be able to pinch the harness at their shoulder. Make sure the child harness straps are in the slot level with or just below the child's shoulders. Place the car seat in the back seat facing the back of the vehicle. Attach the seat using the lower anchors or seat belt to tighten. Use either the anchors or seatbelt, but not both. And then if you are, like if you this. use the seatbelt, remember to lock it. You will hear a click. The seat should move less than one inch where it's attached to the car. Adjust the seat to recline at the correct angle. Do not use items that did not come with the car seat. Dress your baby in light layers and add blankets over the top once the infant is safely buckled. Bulky coats and bunting bags are not safe for the car seat. Take your baby out of the car when you arrive. A car seat is not a safe place for your baby to sleep. In Nova Scotia, it is law that infants must be secured in a rear-facing seat until at least one year of age and 22 pounds. When will my baby be ready for the next car seat? A rear facing seat gives the best protection for your child's head, neck and spine in the event of an accident. When your baby outgrows their infant seat, use a larger rear facing seat. Place the car seat in the back seat 
facing the back of the vehicle. Attach the seat using the lower anchors or seat belt to tighten. If you use the seat belt, it must be locked. The seat should thing? move less than one okay, inch where it's attached to the car. Adjust the seat to recline to the correct angle. Check your instructions. Place the chest clip at your child's armpit level. The harness should be flat with no twist. Tighten the harness straps. You should not be able to pinch the harness at the shoulder. Make sure the harness straps are in the slot level with or below the child's shoulders. Make sure the child's head is at least one inch below the top of the seat. It's okay for the child's feet to touch the back seat of the car. Always check the labels to find out when your child will reach the height and weight limits. Your child is safest riding rear facing until they are two, three, or even four years of age, as long as they fit within the height and weight limits of the seat. How can I keep my child safe in the vehicle when it's time to use a forward facing car seat? A forward facing car seat uses a five point harness to spread the force of a sudden stop or crash over the strongest parts of your child's body. The seat protects a child who has outgrown their larger rear facing seat. It is safest to wait until your child is at least two years of age before using a forward facing seat. In Nova Scotia, it is law that a child must be at least one year of age and 22 pounds before they can be placed in a forward facing seat and they must remain in a forward facing seat until they are at least 40 pounds. Always check your labels on your seat for weight and height limits. Keep a child in a five point harness until they weigh at least 40 pounds. Place the car seat in the back seat of the vehicle. Attach the seat using anchors or seat belt. Tighten until it's locked. Attach the top tether. The seat should not move more than one inch where it is attached to the car. Make sure the harness straps are in a slot level with or above your child's shoulders. Tighten the harness straps. You should not be able to pinch the harness at the shoulder. The harness should be flat with no twist. Place the chest clip at armpit level. Always read the seat and vehicle manual to follow instructions. My child seems to be getting bigger and the forward facing car seat seems to be getting tighter. Is my child ready for a booster seat? Before moving to a booster seat, your child must be able to sit straight and tall without moving around or unbuckling. A booster seat lifts your child up so that the seat belt fits across the strongest bones and away from the soft belly. To use a booster seat, your child must be at least 40 pounds. This is the law in Nova Scotia. Place the booster seat in the back seat of the vehicle. Tuck the lap belt and the shoulder belt under the armrest for most booster seats. Make sure your child has support behind the head to the top of the ears. No, it's not. Sit up. Make sure your if the vehicle does not have a head support, use a high back booster seat. Make sure. You might want to get around her too. Like. If the shoulder belt does not rest between the child's neck and shoulder, use a booster seat that is a shoulder belt guide. My grandson is getting bigger and the booster seat is getting tight. When should I stop using the booster seat? There are five steps to consider when deciding whether you should keep or stop using a booster seat. Number one, is your child at least 145 centimeters or 4 feet 9 inches tall and at least 9 years of age? Number two, when your child is sitting all the way back, do their knees bend comfortably over the edge of the seat? Number three, does the lap belt stay low across the hips? Number four, does the shoulder belt cross the chest and stay between the neck and the shoulder? Number five, can your child sit like this for the entire trip without slouching? Until your child can meet these five steps, continue to use a booster seat. Once your child is taller than 4 feet 9 inches or 145 centimeters or 9 years of age, it may be time to move to a regular seatbelt. 
your child is safest in the back seat until they are 13 years of age. There can be risk associated with using a seat belt too soon. Children who use a seat belt before they are ready are at risk for injuries to the head, neck, spine, and internal organs. A booster seat boosts a child up so the seat fits properly across the strongest bones and away from the soft belly. A child may use a seat belt in one car but still need a booster in another vehicle. Remember that your child is safe as sitting in the back seat of the vehicle. Your child should be at least 4 feet 9 inches tall or 145 centimeters or 9 years of age. Make sure there is support behind the head to the top of the ears. The shoulder belt should cross the chest and stay between the neck and shoulder. The lap belt should fit low and snug across the child's hips. Your child's knees should bend comfortable over the edge of the vehicle seat when sitting all the way back. According to the law, a child can use an adult seat belt when they are either 9 years old or 4 feet 9 inches tall or 145 centimeters. As a driver, you are responsible to ensure that all passengers under the age of 16 are securely buckled in the right car seat, booster seat, or seat belt. Car seat laws in Nova Scotia. It is law in Nova Scotia that children traveling in vehicles are safely secured in a car seat or booster seat that is appropriate for their age, weight, and height, and used according to the manufacturer's instructions. Rear-facing car seat. Infants must be secured in a rear-facing seat until at least 1 years old and 10 kilograms, which equals to 22 pounds. Forward-facing car seat. A child must be at least 1 year and 10 kilograms before he or she can be placed in a forward-facing seat. A child must remain in a forward-facing seat until the minimum of 18 kilograms. Booster seat. A child must be a minimum of 18 kilograms before he or she can move to a booster seat. The child must continue to use a booster seat until one of the following criteria is met. 145 centimeters, 4 feet 9 inches, or 9 years old. A seat belt. A child can use an adult seat belt when they are either 9 years old or 145 centimeters which is 4 feet 9 inches tall. The driver is responsible to ensure that all passengers under the age of 16 are securely buckled in the right car seat, booster seat, or seat belt.